Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for sulfuric acid. So here we go. We've got H2SO4 for sulfuric acid. That's going to give us two hydrogens, each with one electron, plus the uh, sulfur with six electrons, plus four oxygens, each with six electrons, for a total of 32 valence electrons. Okay, so uh, you pretty much are just going to be attaching hydrogens onto uh, SO4, so sulfate. Okay, so we're going to have the uh, sulfur in the center surrounded by the four oxygens and how this is going to work is we're going to actually end up attaching hydrogen to uh, two of the oxygens on, on the outer ends of this compound. Okay, So what we're going to end up doing, we're going to uh, single bond all of these oxygens first and then single bond the hydrogens to their corresponding oxygens. Okay. And um, on the on the oxygens that have hydrogen, we can fill in their octet. So fill in that there and that there. Now we have to deal with these oxygens here, okay? And at first, you might just want to fill in the octet and be done. But remember that sulfur can actually hold more than eight electrons because it's in the third period. So what we're going to end up doing is actually double bonding these. And you'll see why when we calculate the formal charge. This is the going to be the correct way to draw the structure because of the formal charge on sulfur with these uh, double bonds. Okay, so we have two double two oxygens with double bonds to sulfur, and two oxygens with single bonds to sulfur that, that also have single bonds to hydrogens. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out the uh, formal charges to see why this is correct. So we can do the formal charge on sulfur. So that's six valence brought in minus one two three four, five, six bonds minus zero non-bonding for a formal charge of zero. Now we can do the formal charge of, let's do the oxygens with a single bond to sulfur, so O sub one. There's six valence brought in minus, there's one bond there, one bond there on both. So minus two bonds minus one, two, three, four non-bonding for a formal charge of zero. And remember there's two of those, so multiply that times two. Uh, the formal charge of oxygen with two, with a double bond rather, so O sub 2. So that's what we can do um, this one and this oxygen here, both of those. So there's six valence brought in, minus one, two bonds for each one, minus one, two, three, four non bonding for a total of zero. And there's also two of those. And now we can check also the uh, formal charges on the hydrogens. And those bring in one one electron minus one bond for each hydrogen, minus zero non-bonding for a formal charge of zero, also times two. So if you sum all these up, it's just an overall formal charge of zero, which is what we want because this is not an ion. This is a neutrally charged compound. Okay. So these formal charges show you that this is a a correct structure. And looking at the sulfur as a central atom and just the four surrounding oxygens, those are going to maintain a uh, tetrahedral shape, okay? And that's because there's one, two, three, four bonding sites, which means that it's going to be sp3 hybridized, okay? And when you have a tetrahedral shape, the uh, bond angles are going to be approximately 109.5 degrees okay and um, that's pretty much it if you have any questions about this structure or anything else let me know and thanks for watching